In the previous video, we took a look at trying to find out if there's a correlation using the critical value method. This time, with this problem, we're going to take a look to see if there's a correlation using a formal hypothesis test. So it says the company table lists the ages of acting award winners matched by the years in which the awards were won. Construct a scatter plot, find the value of the linear correlation coefficient r, find p value of r, determine whether there is sufficient evidence to support the claim of a linear correlation between the two variables. Should we expect that there would be a correlation? Use a significance level of alpha equal to 0 0.01. So first let's go ahead and click on this icon to view the data. So data lists the ages of best actresses and then the ages of best actors. Let's go ahead and open this data up into StatCrunch. Okay, now in StatCrunch, we're going to go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear, X variable, let's just go ahead and put the top one, Best Actresses, Y variable, let's put Best Actor, and then just click on Compute. So over here, the information gives us a test statistic. It also gives us a p-value. And if I click on this right arrow, right arrow, it shows me the scatter plot. So go ahead, let's match up that scatter plot with our answer choices. So if we take a look at the scatter plot in our answer choices, it looks like A would be the correct choice. Okay. Now it's asking us for the linear correlation coefficient r. Click on this left arrow to go back to the information. Here's our correlation coefficient r. This time we have negative 0.262. So we have negative 0.262. Next, it's going to ask us for the null and alternative hypothesis. So we're using a formal hypothesis test for determining if there's a correlation or not. The null hypothesis is always going to be this. Greek letter P, it's called rho. It's always going to be that this is equal to zero. This indicates that there is no correlation. And then the alternative hypothesis is rho is not equal to zero. This indicates that there is a correlation. Now the test statistic, test statistic here. So if you take a look at slope, this is the information that we're looking for. So our test statistic is negative zero point was it rounding to two decimal places? We have negative 0 0.86. And then the p-value. The p-value is, so going back to the same row, our p-value is 0 Now, we have to see if we're going to reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject it. If we reject the null hypothesis, that means that there's sufficient evidence to support the claim that there is a linear correlation. But if we fail to reject it, that means that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that there is a linear correlation. So over here, since our p-value of the linear correlation coefficient is greater than the significance level, so our p-value here is 0 0.411, our significance level is 0 0.01. So our p-value is indeed bigger than the significance level. So since it's bigger than the significance level, that means that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that there is a linear correlation between best actors and best actresses. Now it's asking, should we expect there to be a correlation? Well, we shouldn't expect that best actors and best actresses should be the same age. So no, we wouldn't expect that there would be a correlation. So let's take a look at our no answers and see which one is the best sense, makes the most sense. So part C, no, because best actors and best actresses typically appear in different movies, which is true. So we should not expect them, so we not, should we not expect the ages to be correlated. And then part D, no, because best actors and best actresses are not typically the same age. Well. C makes the most sense, but since best actors and best actors typically appear in different movies, we should not expect their ages to be correlated. 